Welcome to Fallout 76. This is Jim. In this video, we're going to take a look at completing the daily challenges for Gather today, children. Wednesday, the April the 10th, 2024. Climb to As you can see, we are in Point Pleasant. We have the, the Mothman Equinox the event ritual. behind us. And uh, we have been doing this lately, the past week. This is going on the second week now. And uh, we're going to take part before we do our daily weekly challenges. Hope everyone is, is enjoying it. Of course, everything in my video is timestamped, so in case you <laughs> don't want to watch me, you can move on to the daily challenges by simply picking uh, the time or the chapter in the description. Always a good time. I love uh, <laughs> Mothman Equinox events. Pretty cool, especially when you have other people. Makes it a lot more enjoyable when you have other people with you. Now, I have been getting reports, uh, as everyone knows that's been playing the game, or most people, I should say. Um, there has been reports of people getting issues with plans and getting them and double plans and such. So, I think there is supposed to be like a, a hot fix or a quick update happening soon. Um, but from what I hear lately, like within the last 24 hours... <laughs> is that they're not going to have because there was talk of having a third week in a row and i thought it was odd the first time i kind of heard it uh i forget where i heard it from not on this channel but uh i just thought it was kind of odd but from what i heard within the last 24 hours they're actually going to bring it back they're just going to have it for this week which makes it two weeks in a row and then they're going to bring it back in may sometime for another week or two possibly with uh with that uh quick fix hot fix whatever you want to call it applied so uh let me know in the comments if you've heard the same thing i went on the bethesda website last night when i was at work just out on, on my break just to see if i could find anything i couldn't find anything concrete but there has been some uh youtubers that i Children, watched myself and that's what they were well. mentioning so Three piles we'll see what happens anyway as the days go by their light is a vital catalyst to our ritual. The Dim Ones have attempted to contain our light. Destroy their vines encircling each pile guys. before we <laughs> proceed. Each pile is attended by a Wise Ones Observer. Only when the vines have been destroyed will the Observers instruct you on your next task. Hurry now, children. His patience does not run as deep as his wisdom. Do not like these vines. Nice job, buddy. Make them go now. Please. Nice job, all right. Take a look around here here? for some final riot rad stay. They're just going to show up. <laughs> Notice a lot of people have been using the Tesla rifle during this event for some reason. Yo. Do them in the face. Now sometimes those uh, cultist prophets are inside the building, so keep an eye out for them. They don't really show up, you just almost like they're like almost hiding <laughs> inside the buildings. Is that a guy over there? Yeah, it's right over there. See him? Now, I don't know if we're going to have uh, special dailies where we get a kill. Those cultist prophets are not. I don't have anything highlighted. These are just getting to that update time. Oh! Try to kill as many as we can here. The ritual site have been prepared. The summoning shall commence once Stuff. each of the pyres has been lit. Like that baby up. Ignite the flames this will be our fifth one, just in case. The dust I don't of see our wise one into the air. Ah, yes. 
the flames of our pyres ignite right, let's get up on our little perch here that we've been it offers using enlightenment <laughs> past however brief it may be breathe gotcha. children <laughs> Sometimes I get up on that house. That's what I used to do, get up on that house. But I'm on this little uh, perch here. Working eyes, out really well for children. us. Let the dust and All right. Let's check the uh, dailies here. Feel All right. So we don't have anything to do with killing cultists during the Mothman Equinox event or kill the rat snakes. That's pretty good. It's a little bit of a surprise, especially when you're just coming in right at the time of the daily update. We haven't had a chance to look at it, and I uh, got caught one time last week and uh, wasn't able to see what we were kind of short on the kill the cultists during the Mothman Equinox event. Without the fire's glow, our guest may refuse our invitation. The Dean Ones approach the church. Slay them, children. Offer no quarter. Alright, there we go. Let's uh, get something to eat and drink here. What do you guys think? The heretics bring foul brutes with them. Let not your eyes deceive you. All you see before <laughs> you is sky. No matter its shape, man or beast, oh. these twisted shadows all serve the will of the false ones. He's just going through the cell up there. <laughs> Love it. I thought about uh, bringing out the old Tesla rifle and seeing how it does. I don't think I've ever seen so many people using it at one time before. As, as I have like the past week and a half. These unwavering fools attack from all sides. Leave no pyre unguarded. Leave no heretic left standing. It's a carnage to there. <laughs> Love it. Getting her done here with the old lever action today. Tell by that little icon that comes up the left hand side that it's working. No, it seems like it doesn't because of the uh, guys with the Tesla rifles. <laughs> 18 seconds left. Oh, that's, that's cool. That is cool. I'm not going to lie. That is pretty sharp. All right, let's go here. Get on top of the building there where we gotta go. Do you feel it? The I'm not gonna be using them and join the uh, cremator, I see. He awaits our signal. Quickly, <gasps> children, return to me upon the museum's rooftop. We must invite him to us to show him our love and our gratitude. Perch myself here. A dance. Beautiful. Yes, like that. 
accepted our invitation. All right, Dutch, don't forget to touch the wise Mothman. You feel enlightened by the presence of the wise, wise Mothman. Open up your pet board and go to your stats section and then your effects. As you can see there, true wisdom of the Mothman, 59 minutes. Bonus XP plus 15%. Totally awesome. Totally awesome. And that was, again, it was my subscriber, Kip, who had mentioned it to me. I never even knew that before. I didn't even know that was even a thing. <laughs> until last week and uh i just make sure i include it in every video just in case if you didn't know <laughs> and uh and that jazz so let's check to see what we got for this event here let's go back to items let's go down the list here we got a that will drop that we don't need that we don't need that okay we got the cultist you'll fight hood sounds good so i've got uh, quite a few uh outfit plans which is pretty cool a lot of the outfit i've always kind of had and they just kind of came with the game but uh you're actually getting plans for them now where before we never got plans or that i noticed anyway so that's pretty cool we can actually craft these bad boys now all right let's go ahead here oh i forgot to make a running jump there <laughs> yep. Go ahead and grab our stuff. Burp. All right, let's see here. Grab some ammo. They're yeah, quite successful there. Grab some black titanium. Oh, that black titanium is always good to have. Some loose gears, of course, from the death claws. Do a couple stim packs here. Good stuff. Awesome. Love it. We'll check out here because uh, I don't know if this is too far away for that uh, reach, but we'll see what happens here. I think we got everything. Yeah, we did. Good stuff. All right. Awesome. Awesome. Let's uh, let's go back to our camp here. Actually, we'll go and uh, go to a train station first, and we'll uh, script this uh, legendary item that we have with us. Let's go. Oh, I got a few stuff. That hunter's bow. I thought I uh, scripted that already. Oh, anyways. Alright, let's head to our camp. And uh, what we're going to do is we'll actually switch to a private server. I just find for myself making uh, videos, daily week challenge videos. It's easier for me to uh, make going on a private server because if I stand up on a public one, I am basically up against <laughs> all the other players in the game trying to do the same daily and weekly challenges. So that's why I choose to go to a private server. Let's go ahead here. just easier for me <laughs> find the mobs where I want to find them and the stuff where I want to find them as well I'm not competing against uh, 10 15 other people all right yeah so let me know in the comments if you have uh, heard the same thing about uh, this being the last week and uh, they're going to bring it back in May with that hotfix for the play-ins and such. So uh, let me know in the comments in the community. I've heard the same. Sometimes you just can't find everything on Bethesda.net and hear it more so from uh, the folks who's got the inside track. You know what I mean? Even myself. <laughs> like, how do you guys know this? <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead here. Let's check our daily challenges here. All right, good stuff here. Looks like we can uh, do some stuff right here in our camp. All right, let's take a look at this one here. Scrap junk to produce plastic tin. So all kinds of plastic in the wasteland, all kinds of her. You can find it in every single area. Uh, but for doing a daily weekly challenge, I always recommend to people, you might as well just do it the fastest, quickest, easiest way which is Balkan plastic at the old Tinker's workbench. Let's check that out. Let's 
go ahead and go craft. Listen here, Adelaide, you calm down now, bulk. Get out here to bulk plastic right here. As long as you have 12 molded plastic in your stash of scrap box, this method will work for you. Let's go ahead and bulk just one. That's all that we need. Now let's back out. Let's go ahead and go scrap. Scrap the bulk pl plastic we just crafted here at a Tinker's Workbench. Done. Scrap gun to produce plastic 10 for 10. Again, you can choose to do these daily weekly challenges any way you so wish. Uh, I just always recommend bulking it and then scrapping it at the Tinker's Workbench so we can move on to uh, bigger, better things. Okay. Uh, what's next here? Okay. Craft or scrap armor 5. So, again... We can find armor all throughout the wasteland. When you kill enemies, you can get the armor off them. Uh, I find Scorch will have armor on them. Sometimes uh, the Grafton monster usually has a couple pieces of armor on them as well. Let's take that stuff and then uh, scrap it, okay? Uh, but for daily week challenges, I always recommend crafting it and then scrapping it right at your camp, okay? Is that way there you don't, uh, you just do it faster and quicker. All right, let's go, let's go inside here. Go to our armor workbench. Let's go craft. Right, so the armor I'm talking about is the light armor. And I'm talking about the leather pieces. And the leather pieces you learn very, very early on in the game. I think I was I think I was like level 10 and I had leather pieces that I was able to craft. And that was like when the game first came out. It doesn't cost a whole lot to craft me this. So we're gonna take this leather left arm, for example. Is for a level one and only costs one cloth, one leather, and two steel. And we're going to craft three of them. All right, three for five. See that? Let's uh, back out here. I can hit the right button, Jim. My thumb's not working today. Let's go ahead and go scrap. Uh, here's our leather left arms. We just crafted here. Let's go ahead and scrap them. There we go. Craft or scrap. Armor five for five done. You do it right here at our camp that way. But again... You can go out in the wasteland, find some armor pieces, and uh, scrap them that way. Right? What's next here? Build anything in a workshop or camp 5. So that's pretty awesome. It opens up everything for us, so we can go ahead, claim any old workshop in the map, or we can just build anything in our camp. And I know a lot of people uh, place in the comments that they wait for these daily weekly challenges to pop up so they can add stuff to their camp. Uh, now you can do that, but you don't have to do that as you guys have seen me do it many times before. Back out of here. So let's go ahead. We're going to go to our build menu. We're at our camp. Because a lot of times I just usually end up scrapping it anyway. Okay. I usually like to pick floor decor because there's a lot of things in floor decor. It doesn't cost a whole lot of resources. Okay. And I know I have a lot of resources, but I usually try to do it this way just to kind of show folks. Okay. Uh, I usually kind of go for uh, mats and rugs. Is, uh, you learn mats and rugs very early on in the game, okay? And a lot of mats and rugs don't cost a whole lot of resources. They usually cost you cloth or rubber or both, like this one here. And usually cloth and rubber is something you have a lot of even early on in the game. And, and then, as I said, mats and rugs, basically, you know, Everyone should be able to craft mats and rugs, you know, even as new characters, you get them very early on in the game. But you can do what you wish. Uh, that's just my recommendation to get these daily challenges done, that's all. And you can just scrap it like I do, or you can keep it, whatever you want to do. All right, what's next here? That's pretty much all we can do right here in our camp. Let's go ahead and take a look at this one here. Uh, collect any flavor of Nuka Cola 5 so we can find Nuka Cola all over the wasteland um there's not one better spot than the other spot maybe sometimes you might find one extra but it's totally random because i could show you a really good spot which i normally do in the video uh but sometimes it really depends on the server it really does you could be on a server have all kinds of luck and then go to another server and have zero luck okay uh, but you hear me talk about it all the time we hear me talk about the nuka cola electron station and as you guys know with my channel, I have one in every single one of my camps. Now, this guy here is the OG one. I've had this one for a very long time. You will collect new colas passively while you play the game. Even the rare ones like orange, grape, and, um, you know, cranberry. I, I did see a twist uh, once. 
or twice. Uh, that's very rare. He does not collect Nuka-Cola Dark. Just an FYI there. Okay, but he will collect. So I have one of these guys in every single one of my camps. Now, I'm fairly certain you can uh, purchase him for Gold Bullion uh, in Foundation. As long as you have a reputation of cautious with the sellers, you just buy it from Samuel for, I think it's 1250 Gold Bullion. Uh, but what, but if you're a person that has multiple characters, okay, I only have the one. Uh, but whatever character that you used like its gold bullion to buy stuff, uh, it's Today only uh, for that character. Now, if you buy it in the atomic shop, sometimes it's not on it's not on sale right now, but uh, sometimes it does come on sale in the atomic shop for usually uh, 500 atoms, and it goes on sale for 250 when it does. And uh, that's a good time to do it because if you use your atoms to buy stuff in the atomic shop, all your characters Someone will have the benefits I of being able to build it. Okay. Screws. Now, if you are a returning player to the game, open up our build menu here. Now, these guys are located under resources. Go down here. If you're around in season 11, which is uh, quite a while ago, uh, you would have been rewarded. This guy here. This is the you can pull up. Quantum. Now, the OG one, the red and yellow one, the size of Nuka Cola, he will also collect bottles. Okay. Uh, but this Quantum one, uh, not only bottles, but uh, nuclear waste, uh, purified water. So that's why I always kind of go for the OG one. Okay, that's why I always kind of go for this guy here. But if all you have is the Nuka Cola Quantum one, as I have seen just the Quantum ones around. Uh, that's all you got, that's all you got, okay? Um, so I am going to show you a pretty good spot where you can find Nuka-Cola products. And of course, it's right down here at the Nuka World Contour. Let's pop down here. All right, so we're here at Nuka World on tour, And uh, sometimes there's some... <laughs> Nuka-Cola products, we right here, we have a uh, just an empty bottle here today. All right, let's go around here. And there's usually a uh, machine right here. So you guys have seen my videos in the past. You've seen uh, this full <laughs> sometimes, and as you can see, it's empty. A couple of bottles in there today in this server. As I said, it depends on the server. It depends on the, some days you'll have luck and some days you won't, right? And this server here is see what happens now up here where seismic activity happens you will see um this these little kiosks here and there'll be some nuka cola products around right so we see one here now you gotta do is collect them here today we don't have to drink them go inside here so always check inside so every time there's a bottle that could be a, a potential full <laughs> nuka cola so just an fyi there you could uh, if you just don't pick up the bottles leave the bottles there and then probably the next server or the server after, you'll be able to fill your boots, right? Go ahead here. Check. Just come right inside. And I know there's a little lip there. It has a, my character has a hard time getting in these for some reason. I got to jump in like I do. And I uh, don't, no, nothing. All right. Let's keep going here. Uh, check these guys as well. Sometimes you'll see them sitting there on the ledge. And there's two more machines down here. We got one right there. Perfect. <laughs> Not this guy here is empty. Okay. Now, if all else fails, okay? If all else fails, you, you know, you're having the worst luck in the world. You don't have a Nuka Cola Collectron or, or the Quantum one. You can't find any Nuka Cola. You're on a public server with, you know, 15, 20 other people. And they're all going after Nuka Colas. <laughs> uh, you can buy Nuka Colas from the vending machines down here. Now, sometimes there's some new cool products. Okay, let's go ahead and grab these guys as well. Here we go. Perfect. Perfect. Um, so these are the vending machines right here. And if you come here, look at that. Rank 51. Beautiful. The 25 tickets. So you can go ahead and you can buy Nuka Cola products here. Okay. And that will be considered collecting. Okay. We have proved this out many times in my videos. Uh, but I just kind of want to show you now this inventory here from these vending machines. These are not tied in the inventory of bubbles. Uh, bubbles you can find up here at the White Spring uh, Refuge upstairs in the little store there with uh, Giuseppe in it. And uh, but uh, bubbles inventory is not tied into this inventory at all. So you can 
buy them from here or buy them from Bubbles. Either which way. So that's pretty cool to know. So there we go. Give you guys as many options as, as I can. What's next here? What is next? All right, let's go ahead kill a Feral Ghoul 10. So Feral Ghouls found all throughout the wasteland and uh, really good spots for them. Uh, let's say you're living in the forest. We have the Alpine River Cabins, okay? Uh, we have New River Gorge Bridge East on the bottom section and some parts on the top section. New River Gorge Bridge West, just go across that bridge. Right here, New River Gorge Resort. All kinds of spots for uh, ghouls. Uh, Morgantown's probably one of the best spots for ghouls. They have those little patches of four to five ghouls. There's Morgantown's a pretty big city. And every block will have about four or five patches of ghouls here you can take care of. Okay. Uh, Clarksburg, uh, the lower section of uh, Clarksburg will have ghouls there as well. All right. Just to give you guys a couple options. And of course, you know, Charleston Capitol Building. It's a little bit higher level area, but um, inside the building, of course. And they'll be just full. Jam-packed, full of ghouls in there. Yeah. Uh, now, we just happen to be near Lewisburg Station. Let's go ahead. We'll go in Lewisburg and uh, t try to take care of some ghouls here. Just seeing how we're down the road. Just do something different. I usually take you guys to Morgantown and get to kind of change it up a little bit in these videos. And but you guys can decide what you want to do. If you guys are living to the forest, you don't feel like fast traveling today, you can do what you, do what you wish. Do what's closer to you. All right, so we can keep, take care of these ghouls any old which way with any old weapon. That's even better. Nice and open. Oh, we got that uh, car back. That's good. Used to be a ghoul that used to lay right here, but... Uh, after the longest time, I don't know what happened, but this car had disappeared for a while, and I was like, Where, what happened to that car? <laughs> like, it's back, so that's good. guy laying in there now sometimes there'll be 50 50 chance there'll be a window go down this road or there'll be a loaded glowing one and there is our window go there <laughs> see that <laughs> just ragged all them <laughs> just ragged all that uh window go with this two shot lever action right in the face <laughs> love it i love it Oh, that makes me so happy when I see that stuff. <laughs> yeah, he didn't have a chance, that guy. <laughs> Don't forget to pick up your good stuff from these Windigos. The wind oh, the Tesla rifle on this Windigo. Look at that. Wow, that's amazing. That's pretty darn good. Let's keep going here. Now, of course, the Windigo is considered a cryptid, uh, but uh, that's okay. Get him through that fence. That fence has provided some cover for him there. There you go. Lock and load, Jim. Usually there's a guy laying in here once upon a time ago, but... Yeah, I haven't come here in a while. Usually I come here all the time, but... Uh, it's good to change it up a little bit for these videos and show you guys different options as well. That's what I like to do. I remember the first time I came <laughs> came here and uh, I was fairly low level character. I was like 25 or something like that and I got massacred. <laughs> but that again, that was, uh, oh look at this here, whiskey, yeah baby. Got him through all that, got him through all that and through that window. That's awesome. Oh, there's our cultist high priest here. Take care of that guy. Just don't forget to take care of High Priest Pack. Let's grab that, see what that looks like. Two Star Vampires uh, Cryolator. How about that? How about that, guys? Huh. That's interesting, for sure. Um, you'll find Nuka Cola products here as well. This is a fairly decent spot. It used to be a lot better. Uh, but you'll f usually find a bunch of teas and a bunch of food on these picnic tables. And for whatever reason, this uh, new cola machine used to be full all the time. You got four bottles in. Well, look at the server that I'm on today, eh, guys? 
Uh, <laughs> as I said, depends on the server that you're on. I'll get a guy walking over there. <laughs> I, I wish I, I wish I would have <laughs> let that guy go for a little bit. He's uh, creepy crawling on the ground there. Don't tell me that's going to be it. I think we only need one more. <laughs> I think we only need one more. Where are we at here? Yeah, 9 to 10. Come on, game. Just one more ghoul. It's all that we need here. Let's go down the little road here. Maybe there's one kind of... Just waking up from a slumber, maybe. Usually there's a guy right in here. Usually. <laughs> that looks uncomfortable. I don't see any dots on the compass. But I think that's it. That's it for Lewisburg. So, they used to have a lot more. There used to be a lot more ghouls here. Like, if you watch my earlier uh, videos with the, uh, the rough audio... <laughs> I brought you guys here. There used to be a lot more ghouls here. That's a little disappointing, actually. We gotta go somewhere else. Okay. Well, it is what it is, right? It is what it is. Let's go up here. Let's go to uh, Alpine River Cabins here, and we'll finish this off. Might as well uh, incorporate another area. That's a little disappointing, but... It just adds on to the video. That's all it does. The length of time. Alright, let's get on top of this roof here. We should just be able to take care of a guy. Right here. Shoot him right in the gut there. There we go. Kill a fair gold 10 for 10. Uh, Alpine River Cabin is usually good for about uh, 4 to 5 ghouls. Okay, not very many here, but uh, there's a couple here. It's right here in the forest. Okay, what's next here? Okay, kill insects five, so great spot for insects. Again, uh, New River Gorge Bridge east to west, usually on the upper section. There's about four or five of them. New River Gorge Resort. Usually there's about a half a dozen there as well. You guys have seen me do those in those videos, okay? Uh, another great spot that's here in the forest is right up here at Arrowhold Homestead. Let's pop up here. All right, so what we're going to go after here today are the bee swarms. Uh, but as we know, just a little bit south of Aaronhold Homestead is that field. And uh, I think one day, what did we, how many did we get? We got about 12 to 13 insects in that field alone, including these bee swarms. Uh, but we're just going to go for the bee swarms here today, just so I can show you guys uh, this little something, this little trick or tip that a subscriber had mentioned to me. I thought we'd incorporate in this video. Now, if you're around some honeybees, you can do the same thing. If you agitate the honeybees enough, they will shoot the bee swarms at you, and you can do it that way as well. You guys have seen me do that in the video. Come over here to this little decapitated shed. We'll see these bee swarms around. Okay. See how the bee swarms will count as one. Okay. And there's usually about two or three of them here. Okay. Uh, so there's three of them there like that. Now, in order to get more bee swarms, okay, anytime you see these, um, these beehives, okay, uh, you'll see honey. Now, if you take the honey out of the beehives, there'll be a bee swarm that comes after you. And I didn't even know that as long as I've been playing this game. I forget who it had mentioned it, but I'm telling you, it's like, I'm thinking, wow. So let's go ahead. We're going to grab this honey here. See how the bee swarm just showed up? And then on this side, there's, I know it looks like two, but there's actually a couple of beehives here. I'm going to grab another one. Just like that. Just like that. And as you can see, there's there's a couple beehives just on this side here. And the beehive that's underneath here, they're, they're not together. They're separate. Okay? You can get quite a few just these bee swarms in this one location. Uh, there's a rare uh, item there. Acoustic guitar. Of course, this is uh, Lowell Ehrenholt. Got the, uh, the shed key there. FYI, that's pretty good. Granary shed key. Looking for that. 
and I think we're done. I think we are done as, and as you can see down there in the field, there, there's all kinds. You'll, you'll find at least five or six insects of uh, hatchlings and see them flying around down there. Lot flies and all that jazz. So it's a good spot for insects. I would say one of the best, especially being here in the forest. Put this away. Let's see. Let's check and see. Oh no, we got one more to do, Jim. Wow, eat a cooked meal. Ten. Oh, I'm getting a little ahead of myself here, eh, guys? <laughs> We're going to eat a cooked meal. So you can use the Bionic Steamer if you so wish. Okay, and we're going to try that out here again. Yeah, but you can also cook your own meal. Now, I'm going to go for the uh, plants option. Yeah, let's go to the Cobbleton Farm just down the road here. We're going to pick up some corn and some uh, razor grain. We're going to uh, cook a meal here using plants. All right, now when you're picking up plants, uh, there's a perk card that'll help you out. It's under perception. It's called green thumb. We've twice as much on harvesting flora. So when you're a herbivore, green thumb is definitely a must have. Uh, but even if you're a carnivore like myself, green thumb is really good to have in your back pocket or equipped. And uh, that way there for these daily weekly challenges, get, just get them done a lot better. All right, so we're here for some corn. Now we could have come here for a ghoul as well because there are ghouls here. There's probably maybe about five or six of them if we're lucky. So we're going to grab some corn here. All right, so we got some corn. Right there, 12 of them. All right, let's head back to our camp. Now we could have got some meat. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you cook. It doesn't matter if you're a herbivore or a carnivore. Because these are just daily weekly challenges that we're doing, okay? This is why I'm, I'm getting the corn, just so I can show you this. Alright, so when you pick up corn, or razor grain, or any kind of flora, okay, that you can make a meal out of. Uh, or you can pick up meat off of animals, or, you know, insects that you kill. You will automatically learn a simple recipe, automatically, just by picking up that meat or those vegetables, okay? All the recipes you get in the game... You don't have to buy from other vendors or find. You automatically learn it just by picking that stuff up. So here's our cooking station here. <laughs> all right, let's go down here to all food. All right, we have our corn soup here. Let's go ahead. We're going to craft uh, five of them. All right, let's back out. Good stuff. Now uh, we have our Myalurk steamer here. And as I mentioned to you guys all the time, I got this guy not that long ago, and I made a video on it. And um, it's really, really useful to have in your camp. It doesn't matter if you're a carnivore, if you're a herbivore, if you're whatever. Uh, it's very useful because it's a time saver. So while you play the game, it passively collects this food. And this food is considered cooked food, okay? cooked meats, okay? And it just saves like so much time. We're going to grab some stuff here, the steamer here. And if you ever see this on sale in the Atomic Shop, I highly recommend you buy it because it is so useful. <laughs> it is so useful. I love this camp item. All right, so as the daily says, eat a cooked meal. So the meal has to be cooked, okay? And also, as you guys know, if I can hit the right button here, stats and effects, I am a carnivore. Okay, now we are going to eat vegetarian meals in terms of the corn soup. It's not going to do anything for my character in terms of benefits, but it's still going to count as eating a cooked meal. And you can do the same thing if you're a herbivore. You can eat the cooked meat out of your steamer, okay, for the daily weekly challenges. Okay, and just, just have that around just for that to get the easy score. Let's go ahead here. Uh, so here's our corn soup. We'll start off with that. See that how it counts, right? Then of course the smoked myelurk fillet, myelurk jerky, cooked soft shell meat, roasted myelurk meat, and we'll just kind of eat these guys up until we get the ten. There we go. Eat a cooked meal, ten for ten. So you see <laughs> how useful this thing is. Like it's so useful. <laughs> yeah. Remember when it first came out in the comments? It was really kind of mixed reaction. 
uh, the people who are herbivores had mentioned that they, you know, you know, they wish, uh, you know, they had something like that for the uh, herbivores, but which I use it just for daily weekly challenges, to be perfectly honest with you guys, and uh, that's what you can do it too. Yeah. Uh, what's next here? I think we're done now. Yeah, we're done now. There we go. There we go. Lots of learning here today. Good time in the old wasteland with the Mothman Equinox event. There you guys go. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, and share when you have the chance. It really helps me out. I'd like to thank my channel members, Artistically Arranged, Hulu Bronson, Michael Edwards, Nigel Whiffen, Heather, White Tribe, Starboy138, Robco. Thank you all so very much, and I hope you all have a nice day.